In just one year, it helped more than 700 students and 150 families. But even with its success, APS's Drug Intervention and Prevention Program faces the chopping block nearly every single year. News 13's Catherine Mazzone tells us why funding the Crossroads program is such an ongoing struggle. You'd have a tough time picking him out of a crowd, but this ordinary high schooler has a secret. I started using glue or whatever. We're calling this student John to protect his anonymity. He says sniffing glue turned to using heroin. He dropped out of school, but not before finding a confidant in his Crossroads counselor. She really helped me out like with getting back into school and everything. She also suggested treatment. After a short stint, John was back on his feet and back in school. I don't even smoke cigarettes anymore. There are many more like John, students who got the help they needed from Crossroads, an APS program dedicated to drug intervention and prevention. According to the National Institute of Health, more than 27% of students have done an illicit drug in the past year. Do you think that these counselors save lives? Yes, I definitely do. Crossroads manager Susan McKee says the program's effective because of the relationship students build with their counselors. The more that the, the Crossroads counselor is visible and is known as a confidential person on the campus, uh, that can keep their mouth shut, that's, yes, then the kids will go to them. But staying visible can be difficult. The student may go to the door and say, well, I mean, it must not be that, you know, that important if they're not here all the time. Seven counselors must divide their time among 13 schools. Fact is, the funds aren't guaranteed. There's a question. Are we going to be around next year? I really think that we need to find the way any, any way within our own budget, our operational budget, to make that a part of a sustainable program. Dr. Annalee Maestas says the administration is trying to find the resources to fully fund the program. But with the $20 million budget shortfall, there's no quick and easy solution. Yet, for the sake of students like John, those involved with the program say it can't come soon enough. It was like very helpful because if I didn't go to treatment, then I would have, I think, kept on using it. Catherine Mazzone, KRQE News 13. Once they do have dependable funding for the high school program, organizers hope they can expand Crossroads into the middle schools. They say that way they could focus more on drug prevention.